Greetings from the Erie Coast. This is Mad Shad. Thor Vigi May Thor Bless on this wonderful Thursday. <laughs> Rainy, 47 degrees Thursday. Uh, yeah, yeah, we welcome to Cleveland. <laughs> so, uh, but it's the bottom's gonna drop out here soon, and uh, we're going to get some snow and some ice. Yeah, uh, for the next two days or so. Uh, but then the weekend is, is just boom, all gravy. A little cold, but cleared out. Uh, maybe six inches of snow, maybe less. I don't know. I can see my, uh, I got the door open in my car here. <coughs> but anyway, otherwise, it's a good day. I'll tell you who did not have a good day. Yeah, that's right. Those Americans are trapped in Afghanistan, left there by Trader Joe's malicious slash incompetent regime. <laughs> At least we forget that 13 servicemen and women died at Abbey Gate in Kabul, Afghanistan. Uh, along with 200 other poor souls, 300 plus people lost arms and legs and limbs, things that don't grow back. Every day, never forget, and never forget whose fault this is. But there was hope. There is hope. There was hope. Um, like I said before, we really don't know for sure how many Americans are left still in Afghanistan. Uh, we assume, we can safely assume, uh, with some degree of certainty, that all or most of the Americans are out. Can I, can I say that? Uh, do, do, do you understand? There's not a lot of intel about it. And rightly so, because if you were hiding in a, in a very non permissible environment, uh, in a caliphate, that is actively hunting and seeking you uh, for many, many reasons. Some that are really detrimental to your life and your uh, health and wealth and well-being and all that, all that, all that matters. <laughs> um, then you want to be underground. You want to be, boom, buried, and you want to you want to find a a way to get out. Which there is a way to get out, and I've talked about this before, and. Um, that would be Task Force Argo, Task Force Pineapple, Project Exodus, Project Adamo Christian Coalition, Mighty Old Foundation. Just to name a few and the ones that I really know about. Uh, there might be more. So, yeah, you understand. Uh, it, from from estimations, guesstimations, it takes about $30,000 a month, if not more, to, uh, to have a safe house uh, where nobody will mess with anyone uh, anyone trying to get out of the uh, through the, using the Afghanistan Underground Railroad has to stay in one of these safe houses and get transported. Uh, people need to be paid off. That's the great thing about the Taliban is they like money, and uh, you know, money is loyal loyalty. Uh, so, <laughs> can you imagine? So, getting them how keeping them housed and safe, uh, safe. And then transporting them, hopefully at some time through some type of window, because there's always windows, uh, you know, uh, and getting them usually through Pakistan. They usually go through the border of Pakistan, and then from there, you know, they have to find their way out. It's easier to leave Pakistan than it is Afghanistan, but getting to Pakistan is the problem. So uh, these these uh, nonprofit organizations work have worked in that in that. Uh, that field that in that uh for quite some time trying to get these people and not not just americans either it, we're, we're talking the interpreter the uh the lunch lady the the security forces the standing army everyone that that actively was against the taliban is targeted <laughs> by the taliban you know actively seeking them and there's a lot of stuff going on in Afghanistan. It's still, they're they're still fighting. They're still doing house raids. They're they're still they're doing uh, they're doing all manners of, of slavery and torture and and of course uh, trafficking. So all of that is up up in the air and being being uh, being done by the Taliban at this time. Uh, so with with no one to stop them, they have total other control <laughs> uh, with with some fighting here and there well actually a lot of a lot of in-house fighting and a lot of tribal fighting a lot of other you know finding pockets of resistance here and there they they have to go to uh, to extreme measures to eradicate such 
uh, because their caliphate will not stand for this, right? So, uh, hey, that's what you do when you're an extreme fundamental jihadist, right? And you know, of course I'm saying all the keywords, but I'm, I'm in, in description of uh, who is there and what's going on, and it paints a picture of the situation that is dire in Afghanistan. Not to mention, there's also famine going on. Uh, it's, it is a humanitarian situation going on in Afghanistan. Uh, everybody is affected. Everybody is affected by this. Uh, so, um, can you imagine trying to get out, trying to hide, and trying to get out uh, when you're <laughs> an Amerikansky? Uh, can you? That's a daunting task on your own. Uh, if not, even more so, you know, <laughs> when people are trying to actively find you and, and incarcerate you or worse. So, shout out to these groups. Seriously. Task Force Argo, Task Force Pineapple, Project X is Project Dynamo Christian Coalition, Mighty Oak Foundation, because they are doing the work that our fucking government will not do! So it is up to us, once again, we the people, to fix this problem that was created by our government. Yes, indeed. Once again. So, <laughs> meanwhile, uh, what, what is meanwhile? Um, yeah, that's that's basically what I want to talk about. What, what we have a storm come through. Uh, there, there is some active, uh, I heard it on Ryan Hall, y'all. Uh, some active tornadoes in Alabama. Uh, check on that. Check on Ryan Hall. Check on your, uh, your, your local uh, areas uh, for any kind of warnings or updates in the weather. We're just going to get some snow. We're going to get rain. We're going to get snow. Uh, and uh, it's going to be, you know, gone, hopefully, by this weekend. So, this has been Mad Shad. Every day, never forget.